Hey guys, it's your girl Suzette with Crafting with Susie coming to you today with a new unboxing from Diamond Art Club. This is one of my Cyber Monday orders. If you want to see all of the diamond paintings that are ordered between Black Friday and Cyber Monday from Diamond Art Club, check out my live that I just did last week i'll make sure i put a link in the description box below i ordered 10 in total and i'm just slowly going to do some unboxings of them and this is going to be the first one love your inner child but before i get into all of that if you're new to my channel and you like what you see please hit the like button don't forget to comment and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you get notified of when i do my next upload here on youtube i also put upload information on my instagram page i'll be sure to put that link in the description box below and if you've been back to see me several times thank you so much for your support i love reading your words of encouragement Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty, guys. So, um, this diamond painting I have to show you guys today. As you can see, it is around. Um, it's called Love Your Inner Child. I hope I pronounced this name correctly. I don't think I have any diamond paintings by this artist. Uh, Raven Falan. Am I saying that right? Just tell me if I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> and it is a 51 by 71, which is a nice size. Of course, it comes in the magenta box. So you know that that means it is a round. And I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. I'm doing this at a different angle. So I hope this video comes out okay. Um, I was very happy with all of my selections. Is that double wrapped? No. Um, I was very happy with all my selections that I got from Diamond Art Club. It's the baby dragon. And yes, it did take a little bit longer, but I, that's to me, that's the norm, but so I was fine. I think this one was actually released on Black Friday, but I didn't get it until Cyber Monday, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's how it went. Okay. So here's the little sticker. I use this in my journal. I do not put mine on my boxes. The lighting, so there we go. You can see it better. I think she's so cute. Here's the toolkit. And we will just open this up really quickly, show you what's inside. Alrighty, I got a purple with gold flex diamond painting pen uh, with two placers. I think that's a four and a seven diamond painting multi-placers. And... <gasps> Wait, you guys see the cover minder. <laughs> the little baggies, they come nice and neat. Jeez, my light. And then the two plates of heart-shaped wax. Make sure you take the plastic covering off. I got a purple scrunchie. That glows on your diamond painting pin. And I like this. This is pretty. I like this washi. Hold on a second. I like I actually like this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah, and it's not transparent either. It's a metallic gold. So I like that. That's really pretty, and you get a lot of it. And you get the tray. Oh, they went back to the white trays? Did somebody say that? Did somebody tell, say talk about that? They, I didn't know they went back to the white trays. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so like out of the loop. 
This is my cover reminder. Oh, no, you guys got to see this. Can you see him? He looks like, hold on. He looks, oh, this is my, my lighting, guys. I'm so sorry. He looks like the little bear from um, Toy Story who got tied to the truck in the inn. That's who he looks like, and he's holding the strawberry. I'm sorry, my lighting's so bad, guys. I apologize. I'll try to get it going better. But he's so cute. If this one comes up missing, I know that'll somebody has it. Let me see. Okay, that may be better. <laughs> it's not. Okay. So let's get to the good stuff. I'm going to open this up. It comes in a dust bag. Diamond Art Club. Do what makes you sparkle. And someone was saying, I thought someone was saying that they changed their canvases too. I don't know. I don't know. Did they? Tell me if they did. It, it feels soft, but I thought it always felt like that. Okay, so here is your thank you letter. It basically has your instructions on how to diamond paint. It gives you the scan codes for the VIP Facebook page with the contents are tutorial on how to diamond paint. So that's all in here. And here's your larger sticker. I also use this in my um, journal. I'll cut this out. That looks really, really, really good. And it has 56 colors. That's not too bad. And it has to five ABs, it has five ABs, and that's the Aurora Borealis, any number, um, I believe that's under 150, will be the Aurora Borealis, it has the extra coating on top of the drills, and it just makes it look more iridescent. What is that, like the Northern Lights? This is cute, y'all. Look at him, I wanna name him Brutus. Doesn't he look like a Brutus? Okay, here are the drills. You can already see the ABs here. And it is labeled here just in case you um, store your painting separate from your drills. I don't do that, but I know some people do. Look at the greens and the browns. Okay, so I'm gonna roll this backwards. It is a cord glue. So you can roll it backwards without worrying about it doing any kind of damage. Um, most of us know that Diamond Art Club uses licensed artwork, which means their artists get paid for the images that they use. So I'm just gonna roll it backwards. I only really roll it backwards to help it lay flat a little faster for recording purposes. But if you lay it out flat on your own, um, It'll, it'll start to lay flat within a matter of minutes. Oh, look at him. Wait, I gotta get that corner. Oh, look at him. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh, isn't he gorgeous? Oh, he is not still pushing him up. Jeez. He's not still. Do I need to move my camera? He looks really, really, really good. So I'm just gonna go over the canvas really fast. So there are two schematics, one on over here on the bottom right, and then on the other side is the top left. And then on top at the center it says their logo, do what makes you sparkle. And then here at the bottom, you have your thumbnail the artist name and then the canvas size here in the middle 
is Diamond Art Club's uh, social media information. And then here on the far right is the lifetime guarantee information. You want to take a look at that on their website. This is the first, I've seen the little green dragon before, um, but this is the first one I've purchased and I'm glad I got this one. He's cute. I swear every time I open one, I just wanna stop what I'm doing and start to work on the one that I'm looking at. Look at his little tail. He's so cute with his little eyes. Aww. I like this one. I'm glad I got this one. I don't know if this one sold out or not. I have to look and see. I have learned with diamond painting, for those of you who are just starting, get what you really, really like. Most of us who start out kind of follow the crowd and we all do it. But if you um, are just starting out, a tip that I have for you in this video is to get what you really like, whether it's bright colors, or if you like darker images, uh, if you like animals, or if you like just people or landscapes, you know, try to get what you really, really like. And I really liked this one. It's a lot of green, but um, I do adult coloring. And with my adult coloring, sometimes I'll use one color with eight different shades of that color. And that's what this is. It's like mostly green, but it's probably six or seven different shades of green. And I like it. And I like bright colors too. So this is really nice. It has the scalloped edging. That's what you see here. And it has the little pinholes. The pinholes and the scalloped edging are there so it can help prevent with the fraying of the canvas. And you know, the more I'm touching it, this one does feel a little different. It does feel a little different because um, Diamond Art Club is known for having like more of the softer back canvases, but I can honestly say um, in rating them, they're, they're up there probably number one, if you like this type of canvas, number one with the canvases. Their canvases are very, very, very nice. Let's see here. So you can test the stickiness, but you really don't have to. They're known to have, um, their glue is really good and has a really good stick. Um, even if you set down a drill, you would be able to maneuver it if you set it down in the wrong place. I hope you guys saw me lift it up. I don't know if you did. Yeah, <laughs> you see now. It has a really, really good stick. The rendering is excellent for, um, this is the new rendering with the round. You can see uh, the image super, super clear. And I am gonna show you guys the drills. I usually do um, a time lapse. So I'll speed it up a little bit for you guys to see the drills. And then we'll see where the ABs go.
Okay guys, I'm gonna show you uh, where the A, Bs are. So uh, sorry about the noise you're gonna hear. Uh, let's see here. Number one, <laughs> sorry. Number one, I think it's this beige. Beige. It, it's not 141. It's not 141. It's 106. And it's two bags. How face? It's like a it's like a beige or eggshell. Uh, what's the word? What's the word? I can't think of it. Watch, I'll turn this off and think of it later. I can't think of the word. <laughs> it's a fancy word for white. But Put in a comment, somebody knows what I'm talking about. But that's it, and it's two big old bags. And at first I thought it was just in the flowers, but no, it's in the flowers. It's gotta be more than just here at the bottom. Can y'all see where I'm pointing? Here at the bottom. Um. With two bags, it's gotta be more than that. Oh, okay, it's the highlight and the outlining of the grass. All up here, all up here. So yeah, two bags all down all in here. So it's full of uh, the ABs. He's so cute. And then number two was the blue. I think it was just a little bit of that one and I believe that's in his eyes yeah here it is here and that is 120 and that's just around his eyes here so all in here in his eyes and number three is pink uh, okay. And there's a little bit of that one. There's this pink. Um, it's a little darker than a baby pink, but it's, it's pretty much a baby pink. And that one is 124. And that one is just here. Like right in the temple. Literally, it's just four drills right in the temple and number four is i think it's more like a orange um let me see yeah and that is 131 and that one is also in his eyes here it's just a few and it's also in the flowers. So in the center of the flowers. And the last one is number five. Okay guys, so I got interrupted by the hubby who wanted to go to lunch in the middle of my video. And of course he was starving right then and there. I thought he was gonna just pass out, so. So I think that was on number five, <laughs> which is a 135. I'll show you real quick. Oh, I got that white light back on. Let me take it off. Let me see here. Sorry. I apologize. What is this one? It's 135. And it's two bags. And number five literally is like all in the dragon and in his little wings. Yeah, he looks like, yeah, it's all in the dragon, like his tail everywhere. 
And so that's why there's two bags. I don't notice it in the grass, in the blades of grass. I don't notice it there, but it's all over him. So that's where the uh, ABs are. And I do apologize that I don't have this where you can see it really good. Hopefully when I edit the video, you'll see it better. So you guys, let me know what um, you think of this one. I really like it a lot. I, I can see myself doing this one this year. I don't really um, sign up for events, but don't they have some kind of event for this diamond painting? If they do, just let me know in the comment section. Tell me um, the name of an event that I could do this diamond painting for. I just normally participate like in the background. You know, I'll use the hashtag and post, but I don't sign up for anything or anything like that. I don't try to win prizes. I just kind of just go along with it. But I really like this one. This is one definitely I will have on my list to complete in 2023. This one is super cute. Let me know if you got this one. Uh, if you stay to the end, please uh, leave me a dragon emoji in the comments section. I would really appreciate it. It's the way to uh, support my channel for free. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support that you give to my channel. Remember to stay beautiful and to stay blessed. Bye.